Bekan blien ich eine Dasch, hane poden ich krampien die Hele. Agus Pate kamus et barach harmenes und bal kosche Pate schoche gleich. Du kann jen agus poden ich an der Skiere operein. Krampien started from my dad, George Duncan, in about 2019. Um, we just started our season just before Covid hit, so we literally had only played like two or three games. We are now in Championship North, which is playing against teams of quite a high standard this season especially. It came from one ladies team to now there's over 170 girls affiliated with the club, so it's grown massively in the past two years. It's really good for the community. Um, you know, it's got such a, a massive group of girls now involved in the club. Um, and they're always trying to progress the girls forward. You know, they're always given opportunities for, for girls to come and play at a higher level or, you know, above their age group. Um, that I just feel like it's great for the community. It's great for girls football in the Northeast, you know, to have this type of club. This is my first season with Grampian and they've welcomed me in with open arms. Um, we'll all share the same passion, we'll have a laugh as well as it being serious. Oh, it's absolutely brilliant. Um, I've had 15 years out of football and with a social aspect, getting back into football, um, absolutely love it. Grampian's an amazing club to play for. A Grampian is Comus, a horse to bother me, a stalker smunichu, got on a like and click at a shakat. Corma be my farce to club a coyersnock, I guess we click again, either will at home asal. Yeah, definitely. A lot of the girls, we've all played together for years at various clubs. So especially when we're going on road trips, like sometimes it depends. Some games we'll get a bus and things like that. And obviously it'll be the usual banter on the bus. It'll be all fun and games, especially on the way home. Um, we're all team players um, and we're all friends out with Grampian Football Club. Grampian's like family to me and um, the team, all my teammates will say the same. It's the people you spend most of your weekend with, really. So. It is really good. You get you get most of your friends from football. Most of my friends, anyway, are all from football nowadays. You know, for me, Grampian kind of got me back into playing football because I'd stopped for a while. Um, and, you know, all the girls kind of, like, welcomed me in. And, um, you know, the, the, the manager, Dodd, at the time, you know, he gave me a lot of opportunities, found me a sponsor and things, and, you know, gives me stuff like this to do within the club. Um, so yeah, for me, I mean, Grampian kind of got my love for football back again. Um, and just seeing, you know, the younger players coming through, it's giving me that opportunity to kind of help them as well, which is great. Canelo Chlobba is a bit dull, and a bit of a blinnig. And for her, it is a very good thing to do. So it is a good thing to do, and it is a good thing to do. In Aberdeen, there's not really much big teams apart from Aberdeen, really. I think we're one of the first that has the full pathway. And like for myself anyway, being the coach of the under 18s, I hope that in two or three years they will be playing at the highest level for the Grampian ladies. Some of the girls in my team are the talent they have is unbelievable. So hopefully they can go on and that will be the Grampian ladies team in the next couple of years. And they've they've got the the talent for sure to be succeeding in the championship and even higher some of them. We have younger players training with us on a Wednesday um, and you see the older players definitely trying to help them out and coaching them throughout the sessions. Um, so yeah, it definitely gives it a bit more of a purpose, you know, because I guess for some of us it is now just for fun football, but um, yeah, seeing the younger players it's and knowing what they can go on to achieve now, you know, I think it gives us a bit more of a focus for playing, playing with Grampian. Oh, absolutely. It's a huge difference. Huge difference for me coming back. I mean, there's a lot... Um, women's football is so big now and it's amazing for the chances. All age groups and the ladies have got now there was nothing for us before. Like we had, we got none of the opportunities that they get now. Like it's, it's, it's so big now that it's unbelievable. Like when I played, nobody really cared about girls football or women's football. Like, like I played for Aberdeen when I was 15, but it still didn't really mean anything to a lot of people. Like at school and stuff, they were like, oh, well, you're only a girl you play for. 
Aberdeen doesn't really mean anything compared to Aberdeen guys, you know what I mean? So, mm. yeah, it's it's crazy how big it's gotten. There's a lot of girls that I know, even from around our area, that are now playing for bigger teams, like some Hibs and things like that. Like, it just shows you how far these young girls can go if they stick at it. You know, you see all these girls that have got the, the potential to make it and actually for them to see that you can make it, it must give them the drive to go and do it. You know, it's amazing. You know, you see the women's football on, on TV every week and like all over social media and these girls look up to the players in the Scotland team and, you know, see if, if that was there when I was young, I definitely wouldn't be sitting here now, you know, I'd be going away playing somewhere. But yeah, it's a massive opportunity and just trying to put that into the girls, the younger girls that play for us, you know, that you can go on and make it. Ha bod yn eich grampion, yw'r son sy'n gylenna dan y fi o lesig yn gynllu o chleich ydyr achau. So mae sy'n hadd y doch ysgol torsi yn taith yn y clwb, gwys ein sŵs yn y lygyn, ond yn y blin i hyn ddi hyn. I'd like to see the club growing. It's growing more and more every single week. I mean, we've got younger age groups now throughout the whole club and the ladies have grown. It'd be absolutely amazing to see us growing as a team, gelling together and perhaps in the future moving up leagues yeah i mean they have built some some great foundations for young girls um you know i think the pathway is almost complete so probably to complete that pathway of having girls clubs um at all ages going through um obviously for us for the women's team i would love to see them in five years you know competing you know to get up to the premier league if not you know um the SWFL one. I'd love to see that. I just wanted to keep growing and growing. I've got a four-year-old daughter myself, so I'm hoping that in the next couple of years she'll be into football and she'll be hopefully one of the next best things when, when she's older. But yeah, just hopefully it just keeps growing and growing.